Hi there, my name is Katarina from adventurebegins.com and today I'm taking you to the port of Palermo in Sicily. Palermo is the capital city of the Italian island of Sicily and its largest port together with the port of Messina. Nestled on the northeastern coast of Sicily, this ancient city boasts 2,700-year-old history, diverse cultural influences and a variety of things to offer. The port of Palermo serves both cruise ships and ferries. It is located approximately a 25-minute walk from the city center and Palermo Cathedral, the prominent city landmark. Palermo Cruise Port consists of three berths that can accommodate cruise ships of all sizes. There is a small white terminal building on the pier, as well as a designated parking for shore excursion buses and taxis. The Port Authority staff is normally available on the pier to point you in the right direction, and there is also an info point at the exit of the terminal area. The Tourist Information Office is located right by the port entrance. Here you can get city maps and purchase parking and bus tickets. A car park is located right next to it. The port area is flat and suitable for wheelchair users. The city of Palermo is also mostly flat, however, be careful when crossing the street as there aren't many traffic lights around the city. To get to the city center, you can walk, take a taxi or take a public bus 107 that you'll find in the street via Francesco Crispi upon exiting the terminal. The buses run frequently and they will take you to the historic center in 10 minutes. The ticket costs 1 euro 40 and you can buy it at the cruise terminal or tabaki stores on the street. On via Francesco Crispi, you'll also find a hop-on-hop-off -hop bus stop. Hop on hop off bus tours are available starting from 10 euros per ticket and there are two lines, Linea Verde, Green Line and Linea Blue, the Blue Line. Blue Line stops at all major city landmarks including Piazza Pretoria, Quattro Canti and Piazza Independenza while the Green Line goes to the historic city of Monreale. If you want to visit Palermo's major attractions, you should go for the Blue Line. Palermo Central Station Palermo Centrale is located around 3 km south of the Palermo Cruise Terminal. Trains in Sicily are operated by Trenitalia and you can check out the schedules on their official webpage. I will leave you all the important links and information in the description below this video. Now, let's check out the 10 best things to do in Palermo. Number 1. Palermo Cathedral Start your exploration with the iconic Palermo Cathedral built by the Normans in the 12th century. Dedicated to Santa Maria Assunta, the cathedral is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and represents an outstanding mixture of Western, Byzantine and Islamic cultural styles. Nowadays, it is a symbol of Palermo and its major historic landmark. Today, visitors can tour the crypt and royal tombs of the queens and kings of Sicily, including the tomb of King Roger II, the treasury, apses, roofs and underground rooms. The entrance to the cathedral itself is free of charge, however, if you want to visit other parts, there is a fee. While there, Make sure you see the interior of the cathedral, which is quite simple, and do not miss the chance to climb to the roofs of the cathedral. Once you're on the top, you'll be rewarded with the most spectacular panoramic views of the entire Palermo. There are 110 steps to handle, and it's absolutely worth it. Number 2. Norman Palace If you continue walking down Vittorio Emanuele Street, after only 5 minutes you'll reach a beautiful city park dominated by the imposing Norman Palace. Also known as the Royal Palace of Palermo, this stunning royal palace dates from the 9th century and boasts a simple neoclassical facade. Built to accommodate Arab emirs, 
The palace was occupied by the Normans who expanded it, and then by Spaniards. It was the seat of the kings of Sicily with the Otville dynasty in the 11th and 12th centuries and nowadays houses the Sicilian Regional Assembly. Within the complex, you can tour the stunning Palatine Chapel commissioned by King Roger II, royal apartments, archaeological exhibitions, as well as the royal gardens. The full ticket costs 15 euros per person and the visit takes about two hours. Number 3. Church of St. John of the Hermits Church of St. John of the Hermits is a medieval church located only a five-minute walk from the Norman Palace. This impressive church is easily recognizable by its red domes and is part of the UNESCO. Isn't it beautiful? Number 4. Palermo Street Markets With its historic buildings and diverse architecture, the streets of Palermo are where you can feel the authentic city vibe. Palermo is known for its bustling street market where you can taste traditional Sicilian dishes and purchase fresh local produce. There are three most famous ones, Mercato di Ballaro, Mercato della Vuceria and Mercato del Capo all three located within a 10 to 15 minutes walk from the cathedral. Make sure you taste arancini, deep fried rice balls stuffed with ham and cheese coated with breadcrumbs. You'll also find a variety of seafood dishes, spices, cheeses, fruits, veggies, and a bit strange looking Sicilian bites, mostly made of fish. I personally preferred Mercato del Capo, but all the markets are unique in their own way. Number 5. Quattro Canti Quattro Canti is a public square located only a five-minute walk from the cathedral. The square was named after the four corners known for their perfectly symmetrical facades, all built on the same model. At the base, each building features a fountain representing the season. At the first level, there is a statue of the King of Palermo, and at the last level, the patron saint of Palermo is represented. This square is relatively small, however, it is not pedestrianized, so be on the lookout for cars, buses, tuk-tuks and carriages. Quattro Canti is packed with people, as is the intersection of the two main streets of Palermo, Via Maqueda and Via Vittorio Emanuele. Both streets are filled with street sellers, shops, small businesses, restaurants and bars. If you want to taste the best gelato in Sicily, I highly recommend you visit Cappadonia Gelati, the award-winning gelateria located on Via Vittoria Emanuele, known for its mouth-watering gelato stuffed in a brioche bun. Number 6. Pretoria Square A stone's throw from Quattro Canti, Piazza Pretoria is another scenic spot popular with tourists. The square is dominated by the monumental 16th century Pretorian fountain, featuring ornate, tiered designed and nude statues of mythological figures. The piazza is surrounded by historic buildings and packed with tourists. All sightseeing tours stop here, including hop-on-hop-off buses. Number 7. Teatro Massimo Only a 10-minute walk from the cathedral, you'll reach a bustling Piazza Giuseppe Verdi, dominated by the massive building of Massimo Opera House, the third largest opera house in Europe after Paris and Vienna. The lavish theater was built in 1897 and is the largest in Italy with a seated capacity of almost 1,400 people. Teatro Massimo is famous for being the filming location of two scenes from Godfather 3 and it is possible to take a guided tour and hear that and other stories. 
It is also possible to climb to the Opera Terrace and enjoy the beautiful panoramic views of Palermo. Number 8. Palermo Museums The city of Palermo boasts dozens of museums where you can learn about the city's historic and cultural heritage. The majority of them are housed in centuries-old palaces that were once used by Palermo's nobility and important people. Some of those include Regional Archaeological Museum Antonio Salinas, Sicily Regional Art Museum Palazzo Ganghi, Cappuccini Catacombs and many others. Number 9. Palermo Marina Palermo Marina is a nice area to stroll around with a few points of interest such as Morale, Falcone and Borsellino. The famous mural depicts two judges, Giuseppe Borsellino and Giovanni Falcone, who fought against the Mafia back in the 90s and were tragically murdered in car accidents. Right behind the mural, you can see Porta Felice, the ancient gate to the city, and if you keep walking, you'll reach Foro Italico, a nice waterfront promenade with a white lawn, sculptures and colorful benches. Not far from there, you can also visit Palermo Botanical Gardens and Villa Giulia for a relaxing day outside the hustle and bustle of the city. Number 10. Day Trips from Palermo If you want to explore the popular destinations outside of the city, you can opt for day trips to nearby villages, resorts and historic sites. You can visit the medieval seaside town of Cefalu, located around one hour drive from the port, or head to Monreale, a town offering magnificent views of Palermo and La Conca d'Oro Valley. If you are a fan of the Godfather trilogy, go visit the villages of Savoca and Forza d'Agro, where the movie was filmed, or book a tour to Agrigento archaeological site if you're into history. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, click on the subscribe button below for more cruise travel content.